Hello. If you've been following the Sunday Supplement, you will be aware that our sermon series this year is focusing on transforming wisdom. In other words, how the stories and messages we read and hear shape the way we think and feel about things, and most importantly, how this affects our attitudes and behaviour. This month, we are looking at lessons we can learn from Mark's Gospel, and today we are considering how God calls people from every walk of life. That's you and that's me. Over many years, I've heard lots of people talk about God's calling on their lives. And when I was a teenager, I had a good friend who was always getting up to mischief and playing practical pranks on others. I remember him telling me how, at a Christian youth camp, he knew two teenagers who'd been challenged in a meeting to consider that God might be calling them to serve him abroad. In the early hours of the night, he and a mate crept outside the tent where the two teenagers from his youth group were sleeping. And in the silence, he woke them up as he called out in a loud and mysterious voice, Go to Africa! I never got to find out if they did go to Africa, but my friend did get a call to see the youth leader later that day. When it comes to thinking about God's calling, on our lives. For some, they are absolutely sure as to what God has called or is calling them to. I've met many others who have spent years searching as to what their calling from God might be. The story we are focusing on today is the story of Jesus and the tax collector Levi. This story appears not only in Mark's Gospel but also in Luke's as was read earlier, and in Matthew's as well. The common features of the story as found in all three Gospels are as follows. One day, Jesus is out and about with his friends, and he encounters a tax collector at work. The next is that Jesus asks the tax collector to follow him, which the tax collector does immediately without any fuss or questioning. Then there is a meal. And at the meal, there are three different groups of people. There is Jesus and his followers, his disciples. There's a group referred to as tax collectors and sinners. And finally, a group referred to Pharisees and scribes. They were the religious people of the day. One group, the Pharisees and scribes, then starts to criticise Jesus for spending time with the others. And Jesus finally responds to their criticism. So what can we learn from this story that might transform our attitudes and our behaviours? Firstly, as Jesus called out to Levi to follow him, Jesus also calls out to every one of us to follow him. In this sense, we don't need to wait for our calling because we've already been called. The pandemic we are currently living with has impacted all of our lives in so many different ways, but Jesus' message to each of us remains exactly the same follow me. Levi immediately did what he could and Jesus encourages us not to become frustrated in what we can't do but to focus on what we can do. And secondly, Jesus was comfortable spending time with others irrespective of their standing in society. Tax collectors were usually local Jewish people who collected money from the Jewish townsfolk who were forced to pay money, i.e. taxes, to the Romans who were ruling the region. Not only did the locals resent paying the taxes to the foreign country, but they also resented the tax collectors who also charged extra for their personal wealth. It is unclear as to the group referred to as sinners who they were, but it is considered that they were either poor or ill, or those not important enough to hold a religious office like the scribes and Pharisees. Jesus was comfortable socialising with all of them, and maybe... Like me, this pandemic has brought about new contacts and acquaintances. Maybe Jesus is calling you and me to invest in these new relationships, especially as we head towards coming out of the present lockdown. And thirdly, the danger of religious ways of thinking getting in the way of following Jesus. The Pharisees and scribes in the story were the religious people of the day and this led them to focus on what they saw Jesus doing. Their religious viewpoint blinded them from understanding why Jesus was doing what he was doing. Jesus' heart was not concerned with religious correctness but in godly relationship. 
You might be someone who knows what God has called you to, or you might not have a clue, but one thing that is certain, Jesus has called you to follow him right here, right now, with your talents and with your interests, in your strengths and in your weaknesses. Whoever you are, Jesus knows you, he loves you, he's with you and he's for you. And he also has called you to follow him.